Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Storm Stout Brewery, where we are going to be getting out of bounds. This full OOB credit goes to Maiden and True Hero, and I don't know if I'm using their method or not, but <laughs> this goes out to them. They were the ones that got the bounty on this first, so I'm giving them full credit for this video. Um, whether this is their way of getting out or not so props to them uh, thank you so much true hero and maiden now before we begin i just want to say thank you to everybody we have officially hit 4,000 subscribers which is amazing and such a blessing and i can't wait to see the channel grow more and more having so much fun making these videos i'm just amazed at how much support you guys are giving me with the ATN community and the discord and the youtube channel um, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really helps um, in the long run, and it helps to uh, grow the channel. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for 4,000. If you guys have not joined the ATN Discord, there is a link on my channel in my profile section. Go ahead and join the ATN Discord there. Also, if you have not um, voted for the... ATN contest. There is still a little bit of time left. We're not till the 31st yet, but it looks like the hardcore WoW death run is going to be winning for 420 next month. So that's going to be a fun event. And uh, also, yeah, um, I am also affiliated with GamingHero.io. If you don't know, GamingHero.io is the best way to earn gold in World of Warcraft. It's a community where they teach you how to make uh, millions of gold uh, with using their guides and techniques. And if you haven't checked out the website, definitely go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below as well as a comment. I uh, use my 10% discount code if you decide to sign up with my affiliate link, AT Nathan, and that will give you 10% off. So anyway, so let's get back to the video. We're going to be getting out of bounds, and I'm going to show you how. So right out of here, after you beat Ook, Ook I think that's how you say his name, you're going to want to come up the pathway here. You're going to get on this... I guess lantern or pole or whatever you want to call it sticking out of the ground uh up the ramp here and before you go up to the exit door on the second you're going to want to come out here and you're just going to want to fly out this way and fell rush that didn't work okay that should have worked why didn't that work it's the real question this should work as i had there we go. Okay, just wrong area. Yeah, you just fly out this way and boom. You are officially out of the Storm Stout Brewery. So let's go take a look around. I'm excited. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that we can mount up because technically we're still in the... Oh, snap. Okay. Never mind. We are officially out of the dungeon now and it has put us in the Valley of the Four Winds. So now, where am I going here? Yeah, it's put us in the Valley of Four Whims, which is right around here. So now we can freely mount up and explore the dungeon. So let's go take a look around. This is going to be a fun one. As you can see, uh, the whole dungeon is rendered from the outside, which is really cool. Now we're going to have to be careful out here. I've never actually been out here yet uh, that much, other than practicing the OOB get outing. Um, so I'm excited to see what's actually in the surrounding area. And how much of Pandaria they actually keep out here. I am so glad we can mount up. Because if we can't mount up, that would absolutely suck. And since we are in Pandaria, actually, let's get our turtle mount. Oops. Come on, people. Which one should we do? Well, let's go green because we're a demon hunter, right? There we go. Sweet. Okay. That's better. Oh, it dismounted us. Oh, it put us back in the Storm Stout Brewery. Interesting. So I wonder if this is part of the dungeon over here. Just saw another part of the map. Oh, nope. Now we're back out again. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're going to be going in and out a lot. Well, let's head out this way. Up towards... Uh, where are we going? The Jade Forest. Over here is Kara... Kara Sarang Wild. So I guess you could say... Oh, man, we're back in and we're back out again. This is going to be a wild OOB. -E. OOB. 
because we keep dismounting and mounting back up now this is going to be cool ob anyways to see though because it's going to be interesting to see stuff not loaded in especially all the trees and all that let's go ahead over here to the jade forest and see what's going on this is a very peaceful ob i will have to admit i love the pandarian music Nice, we can walk through the waterfall. A lot of times water is very dangerous in OOBs, so be careful. Um, fortunately though, we have water walking abilities with our inflatable mount shoes, so we should be good. Now this is really interesting to see, as everything out here is unloaded. We do get an edge of the world out here, which is really cool. Look at that, that's a cool shot right there. Let's zoom in. Wow. Let's take a screen captured of that. There we go, we'll add it to our screenshots. And let's head out this way. Uh, now this looks like there's a little cave down there. I, I am very interested. I don't wanna jump down there yet because I do wanna see if there is a cave down there. Before I jump down, maybe we can poke our camera down there. Okay, no cave, just it, just the rock formation. Okay, from the side there, it looked like a cave. Uh, that's why I wanted to check it out before I jumped down there because I didn't want to get stuck down there, but I'm sure we could have just walked back around, but we want to check out the top area of this map first before we go down there. Now, this is some weird things going on out here in this dungeon. As you can tell, we do have the edge of the world already, but what's really strange is you have this body of water that's coming out this way and then it cuts off and then it kind of makes another body of water, which I'm assuming that's a little waterfall. And then it goes back up again. So I'm curious. I wonder if you can actually walk on that. And if this is all water right here or this is just, I don't know, actually. Want to make sure we're going hundred percent here. What's really fun about these OOBs is you get to see so much stuff you never intended to see. So much fun things. You know, I wish more Blizzard would do more open things with their... I wish they would support OOB more just because of... I don't know, allowing people to see, hey, what's outside the maps? How do they develop the maps? How do they make the maps? How do they form them and come up with ideas like i get it you know you don't want people to see your unfinished game and all that but like i don't know i think it's kind of fun okay we're back in the storm stop brewery we got to be careful here because this is water water usually is kind of dangerous when it comes to ob so we're gonna stay out of the water as much as possible but okay we got through it okay well let's head out this way oh that's really cool so they do keep the monument in the background there A lot of the map is rendered. This is huge. Can we mount back up yet? Nope, because we're technically still in the brewery here. Wow, so there's a lot outside this map that you're supposed to... So the brewery does cover a large part of the map, even outside of bounds. Which is really interesting, because... The brewery's way over there, and we're way over here, and it's like... Well, we're not technically in the brewery anymore, right? Yeah, we still can't mount up, so we're just going to keep on walking. I do want to reiterate and say thank you so much again for the uh, subscribers, guys. Like, it's incredible to me. 4,000 subscribers is a huge accomplishment. Super blessed. I can't complain. Um, the channel's been popping off and just growing and growing and growing. My uh, Ghostlands video hit over 110k so, uh, views, so that was cool. I was going to say subscribers, like, huh. But <laughs> uh, views, which is really cool. All right, so we make our way out this way. I do see a little crater in the ground here. And we still can't mount up. So I'm assuming this whole side of the map is the brewery because you can see out here, maybe? But this is like really far out in the mountains, so I'm surprised they still consider this brewery here. At least we get a little bit of walking music. Usually we don't get music out in these OOBs. 
There's just dead silence and it's just awkward. Now, I, I am open to suggestions. If there's any videos you guys do want to see in the future, whether it be raids, dungeons, whoever, just let me know. Um, I'm definitely going to be working on other content coming up as well. I know a lot of people voted for Hardcore and Classic, so I'm definitely going to be working on that. I'm not as big of a fan as Hardcore and Classic as I should be, I know. Um, I wish I was. <laughs> I wish I enjoyed it more. But I'm definitely going to give it more of a chance because I know people do want to see more content from that. But we're definitely going to be making more of that. Now, that's a cool little shot right there. Let's get a screenshot of that. Actually, can we come out here more? I definitely want to get the whole thing on footage here. Let's give a cool shot here. That's cool. Let's do that. Screen captured. All right. Now let's keep walking out this way. Not too much out here yet. We do got some structures. Still, we can't mount up, unfortunately. Man, it's always the Miss Pandaria ones you can't mount up in. It's crazy. I did a uh, video on the uh, Temple of the Jade Serpent. I hope you guys can check that one out. Um, and the same thing happened. Couldn't really, couldn't mount up anywhere in the dungeon, unfortunately. So that whole OB was walking. Good thing we are a demon hunter though, so we do can fell rush and get around a lot quicker than most classes. One thing I did notice about Pandaria is um, Blizzard didn't really put a lot of DC or death walls in this dungeon, which is really nice. And here's a shrine out here. It's really deep. I love the views in this dungeon so much. It's really pretty. You know, since lore isn't really my thing, I might start just doing two OOB videos a week instead. So every Tuesday and Thursday, just start releasing OOB videos and just stick to that for a while and also do classic and hardcore content coming up. I think that might be a better schedule than doing uh, some lore stuff. Because, you know, I'm not really a good lore person. And uh, I know you guys come to this channel to see OOB stuff. So, but you guys did vote to hear lore, so I will make lore videos. Now, speaking of lore, I hope you guys watched my uh, lore on uh, Hyjal. I had a lot of fun making that video. Not the best editing, <laughs> I will admit. Man, we're still in the dungeon out here. Water's all rendered. A lot of the villages are still out here, too. So I think what we need to do is we need to head up back that way in order to get back outside the dungeon so we can start mounting up again. All right, here we go. We do got a stone path. There is some buildings out here. I wonder if you can actually go in these buildings. I'm very curious. Let's take a look. And if the music changes at all, too. Get a good shot of the brewery out here. And the music did change. Oh, we're falling. Screen capture. That's a cool screenshot, though. Oh, didn't mean to fall. We can head back out this way, though. No big deal. I didn't realize the uh, little slope there went down. Man, this out of bounds is huge, though. We'll admit. There's a lot to see out here. I'm very curious if they keep any of the... Uh, Valley of Eternal Blossoms. I definitely do want to get up the mountain there. If we can. 
Just, I want to mount up so badly, though. Uh. Wow, this dungeon out OB is huge. They do keep a lot out here. Dang, okay. The real question is, though, can we get up here? To go over to the Veil of Eternal Blossom. That's what we want to go see, too. I would love to get up there and find out if they do keep a lot of that out there. I have no idea if they do. Like I said, never been out here before. Good thing we have music. Keep us a little entertained. Can we mount up? No, still cannot mount up. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Fair enough, Blizzard. I will play your game for now. Alright, doing good. We are able to foul rush, foul rush, but the question is now... Where do we go from here? Because I don't know... We can actually get up there? Maybe? No? Okay. Might have to actually head back that way. And just go around. Where are we at with rushes? Alright, we're almost to our second one. Let's go back up here. And let's go see if the... Keep... Uh, maybe right here? Ooh, that was pretty high up. All right, we're back again, and after some long <laughs> hiking around mountains and trying to get up to uh, Vale of Eternal Blossom, I have not succeeded yet, but we're going to take a look at this cool monument over here on the side of the mountain. What's really interesting here is they do keep a lot of the whole texture of the thing. I'm not going to say untextured for all you ATN fans out there, but let's go take a look in front of this thing as well. This thing is massive. Oh, we just walked through a wall. No! 
All right, I just spent so much time getting up the mountain and now we walk through the wall. I guess we can go back that way, but that's kind of cool though. We're, we are underneath this thing. Can we fly over here? We can. We are directly under the face here, which is pretty cool. That is a long ways down there. And as you can tell, the whole thing is here still. And we're going to see if we can make our way back out this way. There we go. Alright, and we'll be right back again because I got to climb some more mountains. And I don't want you guys to watch me do boring stuff. So I'll be right back. Because... <laughs> I'm kind of having a moment here because uh, it took forever to get up here on this mountainside to get to the Vale of Eternal Blossom, which I am super excited to get to now. Hopefully we can finally get there going down this path. Ah, okay. I just spent like over almost an hour just doing OOB, trying to scale the mountains and get up here on the stupid mountain. It took forever. If you ever do the Storm Strout trout brewery and you do the out of bounds stuff just be aware there is a lot of mountain climbing to get to this place um and you kind of have to be a little bit tricky with your maneuvering but you know we were able to do it so it just took a little bit of patience and endurance but we did it i'm excited to see what's actually up here now this is the first part but what we want to get is over the mountain that way the problem is you see all this mountain terrain? It lets you get up there, but you can't really get up up. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to get to. I need to figure out a way to get up over there. And I think we might have found a pathway right here. Let's see here. What's going on here? Oh, the tree's blocking our way. Really? Can we get on top of this tree, maybe? We're going to try this. Oh, we don't even need to. Okay, we can just fly over this way. Now, what's been sad, this whole time, I've actually been out of the map. I still can't mount up because we're technically still in the brewery for whatever reason. Um, which is very strange that Blizzard would decide to put the boundary of the instance all the way out here. Which doesn't make any sense. Now, that is Veil of Eternal Blossoms right over that mountain over there. But what we need to do is we need to get up here so we can fly out. I think, actually... Actually, I think I might have found a path here. Maybe right there? Maybe. Let's take a look. Uh, oof. Okay, we were close. At least we didn't fall the way down, so that's good. We're waiting for our second fell rush charge here. And I think what we can do is metamorphosis this up. So let's... We're going to double jump, glide, fell rush, and... Okay, we just made shit up. All right, well, that works. I think I see the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Let's go. Finally, holy moly. Can we get up even higher? It'd be cool to get a cooler view. I think we can. Oh, I'm excited. To see how much they actually kept of all this. I am disappointed. I did all that mountain climbing. To see this. Ah, that's hilarious. I thought they were going to keep a lot more of the veil out here. Oh my goodness. There is nothing. Nothing. Not too much out here, is there? Holy crap. I thought they were going to keep a lot more. That is very saddening. Ah. Well, at least we did get to keep some. We get to keep, we do get to see some of it. What we can do is let's make our way around this way. Come out this way, and they do keep some of the Veil of Eternal Blossom, which I, it's kind of sad because I thought they were gonna do a lot more. Shoot, man. Oh, here we go. We got on top of the mountain here. This is pretty high up now. 
Not the highest, that's the highest over there, but it's pretty high up. Now we can kind of get a whole glimpse of the map here. Let's get a screen capture. And let's head out this way. Let's keep scaling the mountains here. Now, we still haven't um, did the steps yet, so we got to go explore that way too. But I wanted to go show, see if we can get on top of these mountains here. Well, Uncle Rico. We're scaling pretty well. But it is cool to see how much they do keep back here. Not too much, which is... They do keep a chunk of it. Which I'm actually surprised they kept as much as they did. I think we can... Yeah, we're going to make it. So we're going to land over here. And unfortunately, we can't keep going any farther. So let's go down here now. Let's go take a look. Now, normally, I think this is supposed to be the entrance to the raid um, the Siege of Okamar, correct? Which is really cool. But I don't see the, like, the cave or anything. Or, like, the entrance portal or... Anything like that. That's kind of disappointing. I kind of wish they would have kept all that. There's some clouds out here. Ooh, and there's some really out of bounds stuff right there. So this is really neat. Get a cool shot here. Let's go head out this way. And let's go see what's actually over here and sticking out of the mountainside here. Curious of the view. That looks like DC and death. <laughs> so we're definitely going to stay away from that. Um, and I think if we flew that way, it would just stick us back inbound. So, uh, all my hard work. Come out here and see this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So disappointing a little bit. I thought there was going to be a lot more back here to see. And I still can't mount up, unfortunately. Look at that smoke slash cloud effect going on right here. This is really cool. I've never seen it like that. That's really neat. Like a sm smoke and mirrors type cloud, you know? Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill myself real quick. With a campfire. And then I'm going to spawn back to the beginning of this dungeon. I'm going to get back out again and then go explore the um, other side. The wilds down here. And so I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we are back again and we are officially gonna be exploring the wilds, the bottom half of the brewery map. Now, what sucks is we still can't mount up because when you're up here on the ledge, you're in the Valley of the Four Winds. When you jump down, you're back in the brewery. So I don't, I don't get it. I really just don't understand the whole decision, the out of bounds, but you get some cool shots down here. So as you can see, a lot of the cave area is filled in. You can't even, <laughs> you can't get to any of the cave area there, but you can see that this whole river here is usually filled with water, but the water's gone. The waterfall texture is still there, so that's still running, as you can tell. And what's really neat is um, you can see the trees and everything are still out here as well, so let's go take a look out this way first. I was kind of deciding where I wanted to go, but let's go this way. Let's go see if the fishing place out here is called. I don't remember what it's called. Who remembers what the, uh, the fishing area here is called, where you get your water strider mount? Um, I don't remember what the place is called. There's a place where you can build reputation every day and eventually unlock a fishing boat and a water strider. Uh, okay. So it's not actually out here, because I think it'd be like right around here, if I remember correctly. But let's keep heading out this way and see if there's anything. Oh, they do keep a random torch out here. Okay, that's kind of random. Now, all of this, like I said, is usually with water. But normally, we're never supposed to see this. There is a little stone tablet out there. That's interesting. And if we come our 
our way out this way. We can get a good shot of this valley here. So some of the texture under the, uh, or the terrain, I should say, under the cave system here is still there. So you can go under there. Now that's a cool little shot right there. Let's go check that out. Ooh, what's this over here? We got some little thing popping out the water over here. It's kind of creepy looking. Oh, it's just like a tree. Okay. It's a creepy textured tree. Let's go make our way out this way and see what we can find. Well, we do got some rock formation out here, and I think this is where usually the fishing hut village is, if I'm not mistaken. Because if you open your map and you come to the wilds, it's usually down in this area, like right around here. And I believe that's where we're at. Can't really tell with being outside the map. I really wish we could mount up, but... Yeah. Oh, well. As you can tell, there's just a lot of gray space out here of the void, which you're never supposed to see out here anyway, so. And all the water is gone, so it's just all green land out there. If we come and make our way out this way, get a cool shot of the beach out here. And usually where water is right here, but it does cut off up and above here. It's kind of a cool shot. You got a little cool rock formation going on here. Ah, so they do keep the some of the stuff on the sand here. You do have the dead fish. And you got the uh, rubber boy out here. That's kind of just floating. Chilling. It is floating. It has an animation going. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Oh, and you can't actually get on top of it here. Can we set the real question? There we go. Now we're just chilling. <laughs> there we go. The only mount we've had over here. This is kind of a cool textured area right here. It's all cut off. You do got an underwater cave thing going on over here. Right off the cliff edge here. Let's go check that out. And as you can see, it's just all void. Whew, there's a lot of walking, so it'll be, I apologize, guys, but I have no choice because I can't mount up out here, unfortunately. If we were up above on the cliff there, we could, because it technically would be in the Valley of the Four Winds. Let's go check out this cool underwater cave system going on here. I don't think it's necessarily a cave. I think it's just a under the cliff here, but it's still pretty cool to look at. I got some cool waterfall views in this OOB, I will admit. Now, a sad thing is um, my Karazan video. I experimented with putting music in it, and it would have been really chill music, just to kind of in the background as I'm walking around. Now. What's nice about this OOB is there is music playing the whole time, so that kind of keeps it a little entertaining. But I tried to experiment with a little bit of music, but I got hit with copyright. So I had to delete the video, re-upload it from scratch, and just completely gut the music out, which sucked. But Ah, here's a horde flight path over here. We do got a cool cavern area thing going on here. And some horde ships. You got under the waterfall. Can we get up here is the real question. Yeah, we can. Oh, we can actually mount up here too. Because technically we're back in the Valley of the Four Winds. <laughs> but if we come out this way, it's going to dismount us again. Watch. Uh, let's see. As long as we stay on the cliff side... We are mounted, so that's nice. Maybe we can just stay this way. See what happens. And just ride the wall here. 
I mean, I'm all down. It's going to allow us to stay in the Valley of the Four Winds and mount up. Let's do it. All right, let's make our way back out this way. And let's see what's on the opposite side of the uh, the winds down here. Now, you do got a cave system going on right here. Can we get in the cave? Ooh, I think we can. Oh, there's nothing much in there, though. Ooh. Weird. Got a weird effect going on here. This would be a 420 Blazer video right there. <laughs> I don't celebrate 420, but there you go. That's basically what it's like right there, right? There was kind of a trippy animation. All right, guys, I'm going to ride this along the cave system here. And I'm going to get to the other side. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Welcome back. We did make it to the other side. So let's uh, wrap up this video and go check out what's on the other side of the wilds over here. I am still riding the wall because it allows me to keep mounted because technically we're not in the brewery. We're in the Valley of the Four Winds. That's where we want to stay for right now. And we dismounted. That's <laughs> fucked to soon. That's funny. Uh, so let's go check out what's down here. Unfortunately, it dismounted us because, like I said, it acts like we're still in the brewery. If you look at your map, we're still in the brewery for whatever reason. So we're going to come out this way. We're going to go take a look and see what's out towards here. As you can tell, it's just a lot more grassy, hilly areas. With some trees. And you do see... Uh, Azeroth's moon out there. We do got some... Another rock textured thing going on out here. Textured formation of a rock. And we got something trippy going on up there as well. The formation of the land kind of cuts off. This is going to be quite the video to edit and put together. Because there was a lot of walking and cutting out to do. But I will do my best. But I think we're coming to the end here, guys. I don't think there's too much left to see out here. Um, this was quite a OOB adventure, I have to say. A lot of work went into this <laughs> behind the scenes. Um, because there was just a lot of walking and running everywhere. And unfortunately... Um, the big payoff, what I thought was going to pay off, was didn't really pay off as much as I wanted it to. Which was the, um... Uh... uh Veil of Eternal Blossom. So, that's unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes it just works out that way. So. Anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Storm Stout Brewery. If you want to come check this place out, go for it. There's a lot of walking involved, unless you stay in the Valley of the Four Winds area. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It. it really helps out. And um, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.